Hi, welcome to Inspire DIY. My name is Max, and today I'm going to be teaching you on how to find profitable products for your Amazon FBA from your wholesale supplier. Coming up. It's been a while since I looked into their websites, but from what I remember is these announcer tool uh, cost around 10 bucks to use for about two days and then you can pay like a monthly subscription as well uh, Scan Unlimited gives you like one free uh, run uh, for like a per month and then the price checker 2 that I recently used gives you like a one-time thing uh, that works for like uh, up to like a hundred ASINs or something like that I don't remember exactly but generally they're pretty cheap and you don't need to run them all the time you just need to use them whenever obviously you want to buy from wholesale so it's not like enough monthly subscription that you really need uh, consistently so let's jump right in so we have here the analyzer tool in front of me what i basically did was i just add this entire spreadsheet that you would basically extract uh somehow from the catalog or from from your wholesaler that they would basically give you like all their upc barcodes and all their wholesale price and everything so you basically just plug that excel or csv file into here let the file run and then set the criteria of the how you want to filter it after it's a little bit different among obviously different software and i'll show it right here in front of me uh, i think the first one we have here so obviously i block out the data because well I'll, I'll show i'll show i'll show you some of the actual analysis for each of the product too that i just uh, i haven't run the scan yet basically so here in front of me we see Typically, once you run the data, you see the ASINs, the Amazon link, the profit margin, ROI, blah, blah, blah. There's going to be like a whole bunch of stuff. And this is from the price checker. So you see a whole bunch of columns that you probably don't need, to be honest. And I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you exactly what I use for each one of them. So when, when you do these setups, they're going to give you like even like ingredients amount, uh, doshas. Like that really depends on the software itself. I basically just hide all these columns out. You definitely don't need any of them. Uh, you definitely need the your like my my wholesale gives uh, the wholesale price as well as your price that they accounted for all the discounts that they give you, you know those certain times. I got rid of all these uh max cost ROI because I, I just don't really need it. The NPN uh, those are for like mostly natural supplements. These are the wholesales I've been working with. I also got rid of uh, the hour stock because when you run a scan, you basically already select that the product would be in stock from your wholesale. Um, all these references and stuff so basically here's what i have left that's essential for me uh to to basically make money on amazon which is the upc uh, number that's so that you can go back to the wholesale copy and paste that and then once once you find the products that are profitable to sell you can uh purchase it right away suppliers you don't really need but i kept that there just to see uh the size i so how i you i did this filter is i'll show you I try not to sell anything above like 500 grams, 500 ml, because those are already a pound, right? So it's or more than a pound. It's uh, when it goes to like something like uh, 900 ml, it's it's just way too heavy to ship it out. And then to me personally, I want to ship as many products as possible, and make as much uh, profit as possible. You, you, I'm not saying that you can't make profit on these large items. It just costs you space to ship to the Amazon warehouse. That's exactly what I'm saying. And then your price, the Amazon title you want to see, and also the some of the products might be the multi pack, so obviously you want to keep that there just to see the, the listing page. I'll show you right below that uh, on the data later. So the buy box price, you want to see how much it is. This is one that's very crucial. I, I, I don't know why I didn't highlight that, but net profit and the net ROI. So how I did these stuff is personally, I'm comfortable working with at least four Canadian dollars for my profit margin as well as at least 30% ROI. That's just what I'm comfortable with. And I tend not to purchase any products above 20 Canadian dollars. Uh, that would be like a little bit like 16 or something USD. That's just something that I'm comfortable working with because if you go purchase some higher, more expensive products, you, you definitely probably make more ROI. But then I, again, I prefer to sell something that's like cheaper on on the lower end and then mark up the price for the retailers instead uh best seller ranking this is very important and i i left the chart I'll, I'll leave you another chart for like those uh, retail wholesale online arbitrage but basically 
I skip out on any products that are above 40k in ranking. And um, I tried the tactical arbitrage in the past where they give you an average ranking of 90 days. Uh, this software didn't do that, but we can always look at it online in the, the other extension I'm going to be uh, showing you, which is the Helium 10 and also the uh, Keepa. So you'll see that as well. But basically, 40k, uh, depending on the categories you're selling in, so I'm selling in uh, health and beauty as well as grocery. So for grocery, I don't sell any. I try not to sell anything above sixteen thousand, and uh, with beauty around forty thousand and above, I would just cut all that out. Okay, skipping on to you want to see basically how many prime sellers are in here because those are the competitive sellers you'll be competing with, and based on that, you can determine how like it will also show you based on the uh, seller ranking the estimated sale per month, and then based on that number, you can see how much you need you can purchase to get rid of all this inventory in a month in the estimated share amount. It's not always accurate, but it's a good indication. And then uh, for the reviews, I also took out basically anything up, up below like 3.3 stars or something, just in case if the product does something wrong, misleading or whatever, I just don't want to deal with that. multi isn't not really necessary. I that count as well. Okay, let's jump right into the first product. Now, I have not seen any of these products. I've, obviously, I've seen the from the data from my spreadsheet, but I have not looked into it at all, basically. And uh, these are products are just like the ones I just, the rest of them I blanked out, but basically I put in all the filters that I mentioned earlier, and these are what's left of it. I, I have um, more down the list, but this is what I'm gonna show you on the video. And obviously you can take the information if you want it, or if you can find it and sell it yourself, that's that's totally fine with me as well. So here, if you look at on um, the price that I'm gonna be purchasing for is three, uh, and it is selling on Amazon for $22.99. Yeah. Uh, we see here that we're making net ROI of over 300%. That's freaking amazing, honestly. And profiting for uh, $11. This product's looking really good already. But let's go over here. So we, we see here, this is uh, Helium 10. Uh, from extension they are all free and you can you can make a purchase for the pro version i don't use it it works fine for me like this they also give you some of the free um sales estimator as well if you need it but obviously we're using the software already but i want to show you here which is a perfect example to why the ranking is so good is because amazon used to sell in the past and they used to sell for a lot lower price obviously we we set it up that way so that the amazon is not on the listing which is true for uh, for the software because they aren't on the listing for since uh, September of last year. Nevertheless, uh, you could sell this product. Uh, the rankings still seem to be good, but uh, you can see uh, based on the Helium 10 chart, whenever the, 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 the rank drops, it means there's a purchase and it has not been as consistent as in the past uh, compared to when it was selling, when Amazon was selling for only like $8. And there's only about... Uh, here. There's only about two FBA seller on here. So you don't really have to worry about too much. I would not personally not make a purchase of uh, this particular product for like a large quantity. I would probably just note it down for myself. I'm just gonna buy two and move this UPC barcode into the buy one and then look into my wholesale to buy it. Because what if for whatever reason Amazon gets on the listing again, you honestly, you're pretty much screwed. I mean, you're not screwed, but like the the price that you're getting it for is like $3.50, but you won't make any profit off it. You'll probably be losing some as well. Okay. Jumping on to the next product here. Copy this. So here we see a, a bundle pack of a uh, three pack and we're getting about, we're getting them for $4 each. So you're basically looking at about uh, $12. Again, you can use Helium 10 here for revenue calculator, as I mentioned. Put in 12 and you're making $7 profit. Is it confirming with the information that we have here it's saying it's about 14 i think they probably miscalculated the net profit here but i i would take healing 10 in this case to be more accurate because this number doesn't make sense to me when you see crazy roi you kind of have to like question yourself too like if it's too good to be true maybe it's too good to be true but the ranking looks good um amazon has not been on this this listing otherwise you would probably see on keepa by now that it will show in orange that amazon is here and it's been selling pretty fairly consistently. So this is the product I would person personally make a purchase myself as well. And it's making seven. Sorry, how much was it again? Seven dollars. 
which is uh, still a pretty good profit to me. Yeah, so I would know that as well. Probably buy, because it's a bundle pack of three. So let's see, estimate share sell uh, would be four. So uh, we could buy like, we could buy like 12 or something just to make it a four pack like, like they said. So that's fine. Moving on to the next product. I obviously didn't really plan this video out because I actually want to show you guys my whole entire thought process of, you know, how I source these. So with this one, I, I kind of just honestly, uh, oh, okay, there's a $8.99 shipping. So this might be a good to sell. Um, I'll explain that in a bit. So we see here that this is the only seller on here, but it is the brand directly sell. So you kind of have to, like, I haven't looked into the Amazon seller side, but once you add the product, some certain products might be gated or you might have to get un ungated and I'll explain that in a different video because this is way too long for this video. But basically, you can still make a pretty decent amount of profit off it because, let's see, let's see if they add nine bucks to, uh, what's the price? Eight, 17, 17, 49, where is my, why did the chart go? Okay, I lost it for some reason. It's not showing up on here. Oh, the calculator. I'm blind. So you still make $13 off this. You just have to check on Amazon um, seller app or like on the website to make sure that you can sell this product because I'm seeing here that the brand is selling uh, yeah, too. So that's a little bit, uh, I'm not too sure, but so here $14 and we're getting them for $4.54. Of course, there might be taxes involved and my wholesale is uh, how it works is if you ship more than three hundred dollars amount, because they're lo located locally as well, um, they basically ship you in like two days. Like it's even faster than Amazon for me sometimes. I'm even amazed. But the shipping is free if you ship above that amount. The tax is like five percent. So if you want to count into that, shipping cost is about zero point six and uh, Canadian per pound here. Uh, let's see. The ranking looks really good here. Okay. The Amazon is on this listing, but they're not currently on right now. Uh, they they were on for fourteen dollars. Like, could you sell this? Yeah, you could. Like, there's definitely a gap of time here, but by the time you sent it in, I'm personally I'm not so confident that by the time you sent in, which is probably gonna take like another two weeks for it to arrive on Amazon and for the your listing to start selling. Like, I'm not confident is Amazon will come back. And from my personal experience. I'd rather not deal with it personally because it's such a headache. Like, uh, it's not a headache per se, but like, you know, you have to wait until Amazon sells out before you can sell your product because Amazon gets to my box like 90% of the time. So I'd rather not deal with it. Unfortunately, I just realized that my streaming webcam didn't work as well as I expected, but, and then it just totally uh, disconnected during the video. So I do apologize for that. But anyways, I hope you find some great value in, into this video on how to basically find profitable products using you know the analyzer tools for your Amazon FBA wholesale so the supplier sorry thank you very much for watching is my cat busy grooming himself as I record this video say hi cookie